Close A military judge ruled the U.S. Army sergeant will not serve any time in prison after pleading guilty to desertion and other charges. Instead, Bergdahl has been reduced in rank to private and given a dishonorable discharge. USATODAYFORT Bragg, N.C. App, Army Sergeant. Bo Bergdahl's brutal five years of captivity by Taliban allies carried significant weight in an army judge's decision to spare him prison time for leaving his post in Afghanistan in 2009, legal experts said. Criticism of Bergdahl by President Donald Trump also appeared to push the judge toward leniency. Army Col. Jeffrey Nance didnt explain how he formulated the sentence that also included a dishonorable discharge, reduction in rank and a fine. But the judge had to consider a complex array of arguments for and against leniency. Prosecutors asked for a 14-year prison sentence, citing several service members' serious wounds while searching for Bergdahl. The defense sought to mitigate the punishment with evidence of Bergdahl's captivity, mental illnesses, contrition and Trump's harsh criticism. It's really rare for there to be this much mitigation evidence, said Eric Carpenter, a former army lawyer who teaches law at Florida International University. It's kind of hard to distinguish which is the one that Nance gave the most weight to. But I think the Taliban conditions were pretty onerous. How did Bergdahl's captivity factor in former Air Force lawyer Rachel Van Landingham noted that Bergdahl's captivity was twice cited by officers in early investigations as a reason not to send him to prison. The officer who oversaw Bergdahl's 2015 Article 32 hearing, which serves a similar purpose to a civilian grand jury process, wrote imprisonment wasnt necessary largely due to atrocities against Bergdahl, though he noted he didnt have evidence of casualties on search missions. More Sergeant. Bo Bergdahl was goldmine of information. Analysts say a small Bo Bergdahl avoids prison time, will receive dishonorable discharge. Judge rules the high-level folks who have looked at this said we just don't think confinement is appropriate because of the amount of torture he suffered, said Van Landingham, who teaches at Southwestern Law School in California. During sentencing, Bergdahl described beatings and torture by his captors with copper wire and unending bouts of illness brought on by squalid conditions. After several escape attempts, he was placed in a cage for four years. Greg Rinke, a former army lawyer now in private practice, said he believes the brutal conditions and their duration were the most significant of the mitigating factors. What effects did Trump's comments have in campaign speeches? Trump frequently criticized Bergdahl, calling him a dirty, rotten traitor. Nance rejected defense motions that charges should be dismissed a punishment limited because Trump was exerting unlawful command influence but Nance indicated he would consider Trump's comments a factor promoting leniency. Trump helped take that confinement off the table, Van Landingham said. Now, Trump's condemnation of the lack of prison time on Twitter on Friday could give the defense lawyers a strong hand to get the sentence reduced further by an appeals court, the legal experts say. A dishonorable discharge triggers an automatic appeal to a higher military court. How important were Bergdahl's mental health and remorse? Nance also likely factored in Bergdahl's willingness to take responsibility by pleading guilty, his emotional apology in court, and his mental health issues, the expert said. Bergdahl choked up Monday as he apologized to the wounded searches in court. Bergdahl and his lawyers offered evidence of two mental disorders as mitigating factors. A psychiatrist testified Bergdahl was influenced by a schizophrenia-like condition called schizotypal personality disorder that made it hard to understand consequences of his actions, as well as post-traumatic stress disorder after a difficult childhood. Bergdahl's escape attempts and valuable information he provided intelligence officers also helped, Van Landingham said, you have a mentally ill individual who served five years honorably in captivity. He genuinely showed remorse, and I think those things came across loud and clear, Van Landingham said. Did those factors outweigh wounds to Bergdahl such as Nance had to weigh the leniency factors against prosecution evidence of several service members wounded on search missions? Before sentencing, Nance ruled those troops would NT have wound up in separate firefights if they weren't looking for Bergdahl. Prosecutors cited a soldier whose hand was shattered by a rocket-propelled grenade and another who suffered a head wound that put him in a wheelchair and rendered him unable to speak. A Navy SEAL suffered a career-ending leg wound on another search.
Carpenter described the wounds as very compelling evidence against Bergdahl, but he said Nance likely recognized the searchers involved events beyond Bergdahl's control, because there were so many other factors between Bergdahl's actions and those injuries. The weight of the evidence went down, Carpenter said. Reader share this story https usat.ly to Arles.